So welcome on board, Nova. It's wonderful to have Thank you. Thank you. Here. So Nova, tell us a little bit about yourself. You make huge effort to be here today. Mm. So just some quick questions. Tell everyone a little bit about your family. Um, so I'm the eldest of about 25 grandchildren from my, <laughs> from my grandparents on my mum's side. And my daughter's the eldest of about 16 great grandchildren. So I come from a very big family, born in Darwin on Larrakia country, but my family descendants is um, from the West Arnhem Land and the East and West Kimberleys. Awesome, and you have two children? Oh, I actually got three kids, Jessica, right. Destiny and Jack. So 29, 17 and 15, and a grandson, Isaac, who's 10. Awesome, and um, what's your favorite drink? Favourite drink? Oh, I would say I like lemongrass teas, lemon light, but there's anything lemony, bittery, they're, they're one of my favourites, yeah. Awesome. Favourite place to go to? Um, I would say back to the Kimberleys. I love Broome, um, they, the top end, anywhere where it's hot and you can get out amongst the sun and, and fish. Yeah, not, not Melbourne today. Not <laughs> Melbourne today. <laughs> 11 degrees. <laughs> Um, and what about your favourite food? Um, I would definitely say seafood. Mm -hmm. I love sushi, I love raw fish, sashimi, um, spaghetti marinara, mud crab, anything seafoody. So Nova, you're a trailblazer aren't you? Mm. you make change all over the place. So tell us a little bit of some of the trailblazing you've done and what impact that's had on your kids. I guess, um, yeah, I, being the first Aboriginal person to win an Olympic gold medal, um, from the 96 Olympics with the Australian Hockey Roos. Um, yeah, I didn't really think about going to the Olympics and being that first. I mean, I was part of a hockey hockey team and, you know, I wouldn't have been able to achieve that if it wasn't for my Hockey Roo teammates. Um, but then obviously switching sports, um, winning Commonwealth gold at the 98 Commonwealth Games. So that's another first for first person in the Commonwealth to win Olympic gold, Commonwealth gold in two different sports. Um, being the first Australian uh, torchbearer on home soil in June the 8th, 2000, that was the first. And then I think I'm the first person to make back-to-back -back Olympic finals, consecutive Olympics in two different sports. And then the first um, Aboriginal person, um, female in, in federal parliament, um, that was a big thing. And then the first, um, I guess, Aboriginal person in federal parliament for the Australian Labor Party. Fantastic. And so what impact has it had on your kids? Because clearly you're a great role model. Yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, as, as a mother, I, I just um, try and give my children stability. You know, um, I have a very high work ethic. You know, I want them to see that, you know, you can't get anything for nothing in life. You have to work hard at it. I guess, um, you know, with my mum and my grandparents, all members of the stolen generation, you know, they weren't allowed to be Aboriginal in this country. You know, being Aboriginal, pe uh, an Aboriginal person was something, you know, um, that comes with a horrific, um, I guess, past, but also not being able to celebrate who you are, not being able to speak your language, not being able to um, practice ceremonies on your, on your country. These are all the things that's, that's my, what makes us who we are. But, you know, the last um, few days, you know, during Reconciliation Week, my, my children have celebrated who they are as Aboriginal children and spoken about their ancestors and their connectedness to country. And, you know, I sort of think that they're able to do that in 2019 when I didn't do that as a kid growing up and certainly their grandmother and great-grandparents weren't allowed to do that. They were locked up in mission. So, you know, we've still got a long way to go in this country, but the beautiful thing is that they're able to educate the future generations of this country so that it can actually become part of the, the landscape that we can honour and celebrate Aboriginal people. Fantastic. And so they've been celebrating all week, haven't they? They have, yeah, and, uh, which has been awesome. And, you know, my daughter, Destiny, um, you know, her school started flying the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander flag for the first time. And that was something that, you know, she really pushed hard for. And her and her mate have just designed their Indigenous um, playing uh, sports shirts. So these are all the things that they're small little legacies that she's doing 
almost first in her school and you know like my son dancing at um at his school with um seven other aboriginal kids that was the first for their school so yeah i mean it's it's a beautiful thing that you know without even realizing that your your kids my kids are in in have inherited the strength and resilience and and something that they're, they're so proud about you know sharing their culture Fabulous. So we look forward very much to having you on um, the 26th of July mm -hmm. to share with us a little bit more about trailblazing. Yep. And um, it sounds like it's going to be a really inspirational speech. Yeah, and I'm very much looking forward to it. And, you know, like always, I, I really look forward to speaking to women in particular and talking about, you know, the things that I've been able to overcome especially as a young mum, I was um, 19 when I had Jess, but then, you know, all the things that I was able to go on and achieve as, as a mother, um, but also being able to balance that. Um, yeah, so I'm very much looking forward to, to coming along and, and speaking on the 26th of July. Awesome. Thank you so much, Nova. Really appreciate Pleasure. it. Pleasure.